me all praise to the most high, man. Peace and blessings, man. All praise to the most high, man. Without the most high, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. Without the most high, y'all wouldn't be able to watch it, man. Salute all my brothers, man. I love you guys, man. Y'all know Scrap Stay Woke. Close your eyes as a blue. Open your eyes as a red. Keep your mind on your money. And always keep a swivel head, man. I'm back at your service once again, man. You know, um, I just want to thank um, all the new subscribers. You understand? We had a we had a nice peak of subscribers. And, you know, I don't want to say the number. But, you know, everything is, you know, is getting out there, man. The word is, is getting out and the word is spreading. And I'm glad and grateful for that, man. And I'm glad that I could give y'all information and knowledge for y'all brothers to be great, man. Because I wasn't, you understand? I wasn't taught this, man. So, for you new guys, man, I'm glad that y'all, you know, added the channel. And, you know, I appreciate each and every one of y'all brothers, man. Everybody's in the manosphere. The real ones, I appreciate y'all. And y'all know we working, man. And everything gonna get greater later, man. All praise to the most high, man. Um, I just want to talk about, um, you understand, on um, far as like why um, a lot of women is, you understand, open rebellious to God. A lot of women, every woman is op open rebellious to God. You understand? When you actually start like reading the scriptures, there are a lot of things. Like, you understand, and when you read the scriptures, the scriptures basically have a lot of rules. Like, you understand, the, the commandments, the Ten Commandments are just rules. You understand? And what you got to realize is that when it comes to, like, the suck you buy, you know they hate rules. 90% of the relationships that didn't work out, most of it was due to she didn't want to follow rules or she felt... You was trying to be her father, or she try. She felt that you were trying to control her. Whether it was um, if she went outside with you understand something slutty on, or she hanging out with a you understand a group of thoughts, you understand a group of whores. You understand? It always was. You understand? Most of the relationships that break up is always that. It always basically breaks down to the point where she feel like she's being controlled. You understand? And I know a couple of y'all brothers can relate to that. You understand? How many girls you, you done dealt with or you had a wife or your baby mother or whoever. And most of the things that y'all been through is due to, you understand? You probably trying to give her real information. Or you trying to save her or show her the right way. And most of the time is, you understand? Is basically she going against you. Oh, you can't tell me what I could wear. I could wear what I want to wear. I could do what I want. I can hang out whoever I want. I could watch what I want to watch. I could wear what I want to wear. You understand? And um, this is basically the issue. You understand? A lot of them don't like to follow rules. The vast majority of women don't like to follow rules. And when you look at how basically in the matriotic, the matriotic world we in, you know what I'm saying, which is America, matriotic meaning that falls in a female favor. Most women don't got rules. You understand? A lot of women don't got rules. Like, this is why, you understand? Like, she could cheat on you. This is why she could do whatever she want to do. Because if she cheat on you, what's, what, 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 what's the consequence? There's no consequence if she cheat on you. You understand? So, what you got to realize is this is that everything falls into a female favor. When y'all really break it down. You understand? The, the vast majority of times when you don't cover yourself. This is why I tell y'all, bro, y'all got to cover yourself. You understand? You have to cover yourself. No matter what you do, cover yourself. You understand? On all aspects. You got to. Get your kids CD accounts. If you got kids with women, get CD accounts. If you give her money, you understand? Use cash app. Money orders, do something. You got to cover yourself because in America, this world is about covering yourself. And um, y'all know a lot of women... They hate rules. They can't stand rules, man. Now, when you go back to the Bible, the Bible have a lot of, you understand, rules on the way you dress. And the Bible, it does talk about dressing in a, a feminine manner. The Bible talks about that. And 
in society we are now, you understand, every time you turn around, women got spandex on, you understand, where well, you can see their underwear, women got um sundresses on, you understand, we can see their underwear, women got, um, you understand, shirts on, where well, you can see their whole cleavage area, you understand, so every time you turn around, it's, it's, it's all in your face, so how can a righteous man be righteous, you understand, with everything going on, it's hard. But y'all brothers gotta practice it, man. Y'all gotta practice it, man. If y'all see a girl and she trying to show her, you know, look in your phone, man. Look away. Do something, man. Because she get power off of that. That's where her power come from. Her power come from unknown, meaning that she could be fucking her boss at work and you you won't know. That's her power. Her secrets is her power. Men talking to her and her telling men no. That's her power. You understand? So when you really start breaking them down and you really start knowing who they are, you don't even want to be around them. And this is this is where it all boils down to. It's all it all boils down to you having your peace and your tranquility. That's all it's about. You understand? Know if you meet a girl who basically want to follow rules and who want to listen to you, read the Bible, you understand with you and try to build with you, that's different. But you'll never find that's like a needle in a haystack. They do it for a long And y'all never noticed that women don't do things for a long period of time No matter what you're doing, how you do it You deal with a girl And y'all split up Because she act a certain way She'll be that certain way for a few days Or maybe a week the most And she right back to square one Women can't do things for a long period of time Especially things that they rebellious against You understand? And when you read the Bible The Bible talks about You understand? A lot of things it talks about You understand? The way you're supposed to dress You understand? Weave You understand? Makeup It talks about all this And then now When you look at everything 95% of women You understand? Wear weaves and wear makeup At your jobs In church At the doctor's office Wherever you go You understand? Even if you travel around the world so what y'all brothers got to realize this is that If she could go against God You understand? Why would she not go against you? Tell me that Ask yourself that question Sit back and think about it If she could go against God Which is the creator Why would she not go against you? Let that marinate in your brains Please let it marinate in your brain Before you even you understand? Continue on looking at this video. If she could go against God, which is a generator, operator, and destroyer, if she could go against God, the creator of this world, why would she not go against you? Because she's going against God's word. So why would she listen to you? That's what your brother got to realize, even within myself. These are things that we have to realize and, and sink in our head. If she could go against God's word, why would she not go against your word? It's just common sense. You understand? Y'all, a lot of y'all brothers gotta wrap wrap your brain around that. If she can go against God's word, God gave her regiments to follow. No weaves, no makeup. And like I tell you on previous videos, a lot of the makeup, makeup is sorcery and witchcraft. That's all it is. You understand? Like, it's all, it's all like, it's witchcraft. It's glamour to the eye. I, tell, I, I said this in numerous of my, a lot of my videos, I talk about glamour. I talk about makeup and everything. Y'all brothers got to understand this. So now it's all a connection. She don't want to hear what God got to say. She rebels against what God's saying. That's one. Witchcraft, that's against God. You understand? Sorcery. When she lying to your haughty tongue. Haughty eye, haughty tongue. So it's like everything that this female is. Is basically against everything that God telling her to do. So if she could go against somebody so powerful. Somebody that you understand that that the creator of this of this world. If she could go against him with all these powers. Why would she not listen? Why would she not go against you and you ain't got you nowhere near the most high? You will never 
You understand? We come in the image of Most High, of the Most High. So where in the world will we ever have the power like the Most High does? And she going against everything he said. You understand? We didn't know nothing about, women didn't know nothing about makeup. They didn't know nothing about none of, none of these things. The fallen angels introduced makeup. We introduced all these things to women because we was, we was blind. Everything was anonymous to us. We didn't know nothing about nothing. Even with us with weapons, swords, and everything. We didn't know nothing about nothing. But the fallen angels basically presented all these things to us. Make a weave. Y'all follow? So, I want y'all brothers just to like open up your eyes. Pay attention. Open up your ears. And focus and pay attention, man, on what's going on and what we up against. You understand? Because, like I said again, if she could go against the most high, the most high in the Bible, it tells you about the way you dress. It talks about, you understand, makeup, witchcraft, all that's witchcraft. That's what witch have, witches done. You understand? And I tell y'all, brothers, this is that if it wasn't for razors and makeup, these women would look like men, like us. It's times that I've seen women with mustaches and stuff. You understand? If a female don't go get her eyebrows plucked or get her, her face, get a wax or whatever, they'll be bushy like me and you. And how many guys are really look at them like how we look at them? How many times y'all brothers and, I, and if you could and if you had experience of this, leave a comment. How many of you guys done dealt with women and might have, you understand, took them home from a club and once you see them without the makeup and they weave all messed up, they look like a totally different person. How many of you guys that met women online and they look one way online and then you see them face to face and they don't look nothing like their profile picture or none of their pictures? I know y'all guys experienced that before. How many? How many? So what I want you guys to understand, I want you brothers to understand, just focus on you, bro. Like we, we done wasted enough time dealing with these women, bro. We done, we done, you understand, fell, fell victim. Because we didn't have our, our dads or we didn't have our uncles or we didn't have no real male role models to basically teach us about how women really are. And the women don't tell us about they self, which is our mothers, our sisters, and everything. They don't teach us about women. Because once they do teach us about women, then they have to tell us about themselves. So they want to keep everything secretive. And it all brought back to secrets, like I told y'all. They get their power off of secrets. And we don't learn until we bump our head four or five times or even more. We got to go through heartache. We got to go through, you understand, pain with our kids. We got to go through a lot of things, you understand, that we wasn't taught a long time ago. And I know if most of the guys, you understand, who have kids now, if y'all could do it all over, I know y'all do it over. You understand? And like I said in the previous videos, even... You understand when we came out here for labor, it was just men out here. They brought the women to America later to reproduce slaves. And also to basically be the sexual sexual desire to the white man, to the Caucasian man. That's what that's her job was. So you never be first. She oh you always her second option, bro. Because she was brought to America Not for you bro She was brought here to reproduce slaves Just like y'all sons You understand? To work for somebody else And our daughters to be You understand? Whores in training This is what they taught And look at it now When you was young Your mother tell your sister Oh You understand? You dealing with this dude You asking for money But he's supposed to do this and that for you That's all prostitution It says that in the Bible too About prostitution Don't prostitute your daughters it says that in the Bible too as well So most of our mothers and our grandmothers They basically Taught our mothers or our sisters To be independent whores Meaning that you work You work, you work But you get shit from him If you're going to give him some 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 of that Nasty wrinkle box That roast beef box So he teach you to depend on somebody 
You understand? And when y'all brothers really look at, look at, look at your sisters that grow up. Look at your your mothers, your aunts. Look at the people that raised them. You understand? The guys that they man, they dealing with, with nice cars and the things that they got away with. You understand? And a lot of you guys who dealt with women, y'all know that it's easy to you understand to basically get in where you fit in with women. Y'all never want to meet when y'all dudes was dating. Y'all never want to meet the girl's father. Cause I know the father can see through your bullshit. Women can't. You go meet a female and her mother. You know what I'm saying? You go deal with a female. She tell you she want to introduce her mother. You just you just put something nice on the say the nice thing. Hey, how you doing, man? And they already like you. Oh, he's nice. Or you bring some KFC or some Popeyes. You understand? They fall right for it. But the man can see through all that shit. You understand, brother? So teach your sons this, y'all. All y'all brothers that's watching my video, if y'all got kids, teach your sons this. Teach your nephews, if you, even if you don't got kids. Teach your little brothers this shit, man. Because it's going to help them for later on. You understand? It's going to help them for later on. So everything I've been through that fucked me over, I'm trying to share with y'all to make y'all better. You understand? And a lot of these dudes is lost. Every time you speak this, oh, you hate women. Your mother was black. This, that's cool. I don't hate women. It's just I'm speaking up on what we never knew. Now we put our finger on it. We know now you want to spread out to the world to help other brothers to not be in the same boat that I was in. That's all. For y'all people who's watching my video, oh, you hate women and your mother black, your daughter black. That's cool. But I'm just giving information to the guys that... You understand who's my age who don't got kids where they could feel where they could be 10 steps ahead of me. I didn't have no OGs my age telling me about women. All the OGs I was my age when I was younger was telling me where the bitches at, where this and that, oh, you this and that. They telling me, they, they, they fucking adding fuel to the fire. And now look, I got kids. I love my kids with all my heart though. But if I could do it over, I would have did it all over. You understand I'm explaining? I would have knew it. I would have kept playing ball. You understand? I would have went to a Catholic school like I was um, planning to go to, but I want to be with my friends and run around with. You understand? I'm hearing, yo, it's mad bitches at this school, and I want to go there. And I struggled to, to get my diploma. I got it, though, but I had to struggle. You understand? Chasing ass. And I've been doing this shit my whole life, man. Like, just chasing ass, chasing ass, trying to be, want to be down. You want to be the ladies, man. My whole life, I didn't have no father. I didn't have no real male role model to teach me about women. Because they didn't know. They were simps. And they was running around being suckers for women. You understand? And and a lot of the times that most of the women we grew up with, which is our mothers, our grandmothers, our aunt, most of the time, they single mothers. You understand? So what they do is they indoctrinate shit. They indoctrinate their sons. And their sons is like more their husband. You never notice that you see guys like 40 and you understand 30 still living with their mother? That's because their mother don't got a man and their mother act like their sons is their boyfriend. Because their mother can't shut up and not talk shit. You understand? And and this is what happened. They want to talk shit and run their mouth. And now they single. With no men. Now their sons is 40 and 50. And only thing they doing is, is their sons is really their maids. Go to the store for me. Go move my car. Go this and that's all it is. But when you wake up, you ain't shit. When you wake up, oh, he's a bad man. When you wake up, oh, how could he leave? Why would I not leave? If you if, if you been you want to be treated like shit today, 40. And then by the time you notice, you already you already indoctrinated, you already caught up. The, 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 the community, especially women, they all about usury, man. Usury. They help you, you understand? When you can help them move shit, when you're helping them with their cars, when you're helping them do shit, when you're helping them fight, when you're when you their security guard, when you're their mover, when you're their um, sex machine, when you all these things, they love you. But once you cut it out and tell them no, you ain't shit. You're a bad man. That's all it is, man. I could be bad to you all you want, whoever you whoever feel any type of way. I don't care about your feelings, man. Don't care And y'all shouldn't care Just keep doing what y'all do brothers Because once you stop doing things for the black community You ain't shit You no good You a piece of shit But when they can rely on you You the best thing in the world man So you're not wrong for stepping off You're not wrong for waking up and being smarter Keep being great man I love you guys man
like I said, man, just keep doing you, man. Keep being great. And like I said, she never was yours, man. Like I tell you again, she's an open rebellious to God, and God is going to pay her, man. I promise you, man. All y'all dudes who got kids and she try to use her kids against you, she, God will take care of her, bro. I promise you. No matter what, God will take care of her. I promise you. So just keep doing what you do for your kids, for the guys who got kids. The guys who don't got kids, be careful who you have kids with. But kids is a blessing, man, because kids is the closest thing to God. But keep being great, y'all. I love you guys. I'm keep giving y'all information. Like we had, a, we had a nice peak of subscribers. Keep being great. I love y'all for supporting me. And you know it gets greater later, man. Just keep being great. I love you guys. All praise to the Most High. Put the Most High first. Without the Most High, I wouldn't be able to make these videos, and y'all wouldn't be able to watch them, man. I love you guys. Shout out to everybody who support me. TMT. Shout out to Black Ram. Alpha Alpha Aronomy. Um, Black Ram. Von Doom. All the guys who out there putting up content to help us, man. And I love you guys. TMT, you already know. Salute, man. But keep being great. I love you guys. All praise to the most high. I love my subscribers that support me. The ones who've been supporting me since day one. Salute to y'all because there's a lot of y'all. I can't name each and every one of y'all. But all praise to you guys, man. Because without y'all, without the most high, I wouldn't be able to share this information with y'all, man. But I love you guys, man. Don't ever feel like, you understand, when you start growing, don't ever feel like you... You basically, just because you're not nobody's puppy or nobody's, you understand, fucking slave, that you're wrong. You're not wrong, bro. You just woke up. So don't let nobody put shame on you. And don't let nobody, don't let nobody um, make you feel like you're less of a man because you woke up. You understand? Put everything in God's hand and God sees everything, bro. As long as you got God, he'll find a way for you. Sometimes God will take people away from you because they're not good for you. Whether they family or not And that's just how it works Leave everything in God's hand Nobody knows best than him So let them say what they want to say about you Just keep being great Keep being amazing And like I said All the people that cause you grief God will take care of them man I promise you man Just keep You understand Being on a Being on a righteous path And just keep following the most high man Forget everybody else's path I love you guys man All praise to the most high Peace and blessings um, scrap, stay woke. Close your eyes to blue. Open your eyes to red. Keep your mind on your money. And always keep a swivel head, man. I love you guys. Keep being great. All praise to the most high, man. Peace and blessings.